Okay, so today we're going to dive down deeper into the text editor and we're going to look at something called tables, setting up tabled layouts. And this is just an introduction to table layouts in the text editor. It's one of the most powerful ways that you can control and manage your, um, the visual of your content, um, how, it, how it's laid out. So we're going to go into our text editor page type that we already set up. And I'm going to go ahead and just remove some of the things that are in here. We're going to take this out. I'm going to go ahead and I already had a table set up in here. So we're going to take everything out. I'm going to do a control A and just hit delete. And that removes everything that's in here. Okay. So now starting with a clean slate, what we're going to do to start to set up a tabled layout is we're going to find this button over here that says table when we hover over it. It looks like a little grid and we're going to click on that. And this opens up our table properties dialog. Now what this does, is it allows us to get an initial setting for how the table should be. These, these settings can be changed uh, later, but right now we're going to go ahead and choose a, I'm going to switch this to actually a two row and three column. Okay. Now columns are vertically arranged space and rows are horizontal. Um, so what we're doing is we're making two rows with three vertical columns. And we're going to set as the width of this. I'm going to go ahead and make that, um, I believe 600 will work 600 pixels. Now your setting on this can vary depending on what, um, website skin you're using. You may, you know, be able to set this to a thousand or 900. I'm not going to set a height for my table because I want the table's height to auto adjust based on what we're doing. Now there could be um, times in which it would make sense to set a specific height. For now, I'm gonna leave that blank. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the border size at one. And I would like to go ahead and set the table so that it appears in the center of the page. So I'm going to set the alignment to center. Okay, let's go ahead and accept that. Now, as you can see, we've got basically an empty uh, grid sitting here. Now what we're going to do is just for, for the demonstration purpose, we're going to go ahead and put in a photo in each of these, and we're going to put a caption for each of the photos, which will appear underneath there. So we'll go ahead and click in the first box here, and I'm going to select my image button here, go to browse server, and I'm just going to go ahead and use, I'll get this in the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and just use um, some images that I've already uploaded. So I'm going to start with this amber wing uh, dragonfly here. And um, I would like to go ahead and make this a 200 width image. Okay. And actually, since our table is 600 exactly, and we do have a little bit of buffer space, I'm going to go ahead and make this a 195 width image. Okay. And now I'm going to click. Now notice that what this did was it stretched out this first area. It's, it's letting us know we can put as much as we want in this first cell. But I want to go ahead and click into the next cell. As you can see, I'm clicking into the next cell where the lines are here. And I'm going to show you what happens when we put an image over there. So I'm going to browse server, find this butterfly image, double click it. And again, I'd like to set this to 195. Okay. And you can see now this one is stretched out. The first cell is stretched out. There's the cell line there. And then this cell is now stretched out. And this one is really, really teeny over here. We're going to go ahead and click within this tiny empty cell here. And I'm going to select my image again and just repeat and go ahead and grab the crab in the sand image. And I will go ahead and set this to 195 width. Okay, so as you can see, we now have our three images in here. We've got our 600 width table, and we can now put in our captions. So down here, I could just say amber wing dragonfly. Here I could say, I believe this is a fritillary. And then here we have a sand crab. And we're going to go ahead and put the, um, okay, we're going to look at the things we can do to kind of straighten this out. Now, one thing I noticed right now is that our, our images don't look too great right now. They're all sort of 
jangly looking in here. They're not top aligned. They're they're center aligned by default. Now, you may have you know a different way that you prefer to see these. Unless I basically crop these images ahead of time to make sure that they're all of the same height, then you know there's only really one way that I could control this. Is I could say, well, I would prefer to have the same height for the images and let the widths be a little bit flexible because that might actually look look better in this uh, in this sort of a layout. So let's see what we can do there. We can actually select one of the images and we can right click and select image properties. Okay. And let's say we would like to have the, the, um, well, we still want to try to maintain more or less a 195 width, but we're going to go ahead and lock the ratio so that our image doesn't get distorted. And we're going to go ahead and set this to something like, let's see, which one of our images is more vertical? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and set this to a 120 height. Now, if I were to go along here and set each of these to 120, height. You can see that our height is standardizing. Okay, and that's going to push this one a little bit wider to 209. So we did sort of standardize that. We could bump these up a little bit. Um, with our you know with the space that we have here so basically i could then go ahead and repeat this process and you know making sure that i have the lock ratio on i could do something like um you know go 130 and see what that does for us image properties 130 okay image properties 130. Now that does get a little bit tight there. I'm not sure exactly if that will fit in our table, but I think it will. And then I would like to um, then look at how can we um, manage the space even better. We'd like to basically take the cells in here and use those to put the content of the cells in the exact middle so that this amber wing dragonfly text will actually appear just dead center in here. There's a couple of ways we could do that. We could select this text and we could just select that. That may be the fastest way to go. However, there is another way that we can make sure that anything that ever gets put in this cell is centered and that is to go into the cell properties and choose for the horizontal alignment a center. Once we do that, it will actually center anything that's in this cell. So we can actually go into the cells, choose cell properties, and set it for a uh, center alignment. And that's actually the best way to go ahead and manage the content in those cells. Okay, now let's go ahead and publish and see what we've got here. And we'll take a look. Preview the website, go into our live examples area go into our text editor page. And as you can see, we've got a, uh, a uh, three wide table laid out here with our text in there. Now, there are many, many things we can do here. And um, the, the further tutorials will actually go into more detail on the ways that you can spruce up your tables, um, make them more fancy. But I'd like to just um, hit on one that I think is, is uh, really valuable for right now. So let's go ahead and get out of the preview and go back into the editor. We're going to click on edit, dive back down into the text editor. And I'd like to do a couple of things. The first is I noticed that the font size could be reduced and we could probably get have a nicer look for this, especially if we're dealing with captions. Let's see here, I use 12 there and I use something smaller here. Okay, actually, I think I'll just go with the 11 on each of these. 
Okay, and then another thing we can do, which I really like to do in tables, I don't like to see the ugly borders in tables. Most people probably do not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our table. So we, we hover over until we see this appear and we select the table with the left mouse button and then we use our right click to go into table properties. Now in table properties, we can set our border size to zero. Now the text editor will still continue to show you sort of a border. Um, you can see it if you look real closely, there's a very, very faint border here. And that's just so that you know where that, where the, uh, the border is, but it's, uh, it's only for your purposes. When you publish it out, as we're about to, you will notice that the border is entirely transparent. So we'll go ahead and preview the website, get into the live examples, go into the text editor. And as you can see, we now have our three wide layout. They all look very, very nice in here. There's no stretching or warping. And um, the images were made to look, uh, it basically makes them look like one cohesive uh, rectangle here with a little nice space in between. And uh, you could repeat this on down the page. You could actually create another, um, you know, another rectangle similar size down here with the same width. Okay, and that is our first glance at tables in the text editor. We will have um, some more tutorials coming, which go into more detail on options that you can do within your tables. All right, thanks for watching.